right here in Music City, limiting their hours, possibly limiting their routes down the line. WSMV's Courtney Allen spoke with one downtown resident who's happy to see the industry getting regulated. Jim Schmitz has one word to describe the party buses downtown. Obnoxious. They drive right by his downtown condo at Church and Third. And they'll come up and then they go somewhere up and turn around at some point and come back down. It happens so often, Schmidt says he has the playlists memorized. Probably hear Shania Twain feel like a woman five times a day on Fridays and Saturdays. Schmidt's moved here in 2015 before there were any party buses. He says they now interfere with him working from home. I can't do a conference call here. Uh, it's difficult. I, I have to do, and even when I have earplug in for, for a call, for a video call, it still comes over the microphone. Schmidt says because of the party buses, he got involved with Safe Fund Nashville. The coalition held a news conference Wednesday with hospitality and business leaders with a fitting backdrop. They called on the Transportation Licensing Commission to approve enforceable regulations for party buses at its meeting Thursday. Well, they listened to the will of the downtown neighborhood of over 15,000 residents and over 78,000 downtown workers. During Thursday's meeting, the TLC passed several new rules for entertainment vehicles. For one, they will no longer be allowed to operate during the afternoon rush hours between 4 and 6, Monday through Friday. Those retrofitted with things like plexiglass must also install rails. Some owners say they're already doing that. We're enclosed. We do have an open bus, but it does have the plexi on the side. We have the rails. We've been running since 2019. All with alcohol on board must be enclosed and must only have passengers 21 and up. Some companies say that's going to hurt business. When you guys said 21 and up, we were like, well, there goes the family tours. Yeah. You know? I just wanted to state for the record that we are under no circumstances considering these limits casually. We are being very deliberate about them and choosing to raise them on purpose because we believe they're necessary. The commission says these rules are subject to change. Schmitz thinks it's a good start. I'm hopeful right now. I'm hopeful that we'll see change and things will get better. Courtney Allen, WSMV4.